guys, here we are, Motorcycle Power Sports Industries, Western Iowa Tech. And uh, hey, if you're watching this video, here's my guess. You either took a recoil starter part and you can't get it back together, or sometimes your buddy takes it off the part and he just brings you the parts, the pieces. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to properly assemble this bad boy. And most of the time, this is the nemesis right here of the, uh, the recoil um, rebuild. So, I'm going to show you how to wind this. I, I'm going to tell you guys, it takes, uh, it, it takes some hand strength and a little bit of patience uh, to be able to get this in. And some forethought. The forethought is, make sure you've got something handy, needle nose pliers or needle nose vice grips, to be able to hold this spring because you're going to wind this up tight so that it fits into the inside of this case. Now, I have gone to the effort to uh, clean this up. It had old grease, and when grease gets old, it gets sticky. Um, some blue points on this will put a really light film of grease on the bottom of this, this pan area here, a little bit of grease right here, and then also on the pivot point of the pulley for this dog. So not a lot of grease either, guys. This friction disc right uh, will end up ultimately going on top here. Um, do not put grease on the friction area, otherwise when you pull the rope it may not throw this dog out to engage with the basket. So, um, beans one and two, just real lightly put some grease on those areas. I'm going to show you how to start winding this. Um, what I want you to do is, is keep it in your hand, wind it, and feed the loose end of the spring right back through. And I'm not going to make it as tight as it's going to go to start with. I'm going to deal with uh, making it tighter as I go. And if you notice, this thing just wants to jump out of my hand. So it's important that you keep it in control. As it gets tighter, I'm going to have more of a, a grip on there. And just keep that spring in control here. I'm going to stop talking and start winding. Jeff's going to keep the film rolling. Uh, It'll go silent here for a little bit because I'm going to fast forward it to show you the end results. Okay, if you notice on the inside of my cover here, I've got this flat portion right here. And that's going to be my target where I clamp my uh, vice grips. I want to be able to put the end of the spring around this edge here and my vice grips are going to be in this area here so I'm going to have to reposition okay notice how the tip of the uh, vice grip fits nicely in that notch right there now this next part I'm not just going to release this and let it be uncontrolled. I'm going to keep my fingers on the top of the spring and I'm going to gently release it slowly, let it unwind until it's sitting in the housing where it needs to be. You can see it unwinding in there. And now the spring is in position. From this point, I can get my rope back onto the, the pulley. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to reuse the old rope. And there is an arrow drawn on this particular pulley. If Guys, if you didn't pay attention to how it came out, um, not a big deal. What you want to do is take note of the location of the end of the spring that's going to hook into the pulley right here and determine which way the spring needs to be wound and then wind your rope in that direction. Now, notice this notch in the pulley. I'm not going to put the rope all the way onto the pulley. I'm going to leave the tail of the rope and uh, set the body of the rope into that notch as I engage it onto the spring. So my target is here to here.
Now I'm not going to wind this up yet. I'm just going to make sure that I've got engagement with that spring. It's pulling it back around. And uh, because of uh, the that that spring could just fly out of there if, if it's not secured. So I'm going to assemble the rest of the, uh, the engagement dog on the top of the pulley before I wind the, uh, wind the pulley. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three turns of tension onto that spring. One, two, three, and then feed the loose end back through the housing of the, of the starter, pull starter. Now the reason I'm pulling that right now is I want to make sure that with spring tension that my pulley is engaged fully with the spring. Sometimes it'll It'll rub against it and it'll be enough to get a little bit of a wind to it, but as you pull the rope, uh, you'll feel that spring actually disengage from the pulley. It's not fully engaged on that hook. From here, I like to just put a little bit of a knot in the rope so that as I'm tying the handle on, I don't have to work against that spring tension. Now it's best to have a half inch or so outside of that knot because that, uh, as that knot tightens up, it'll, uh, it'll take some of that play out of the end of the rope. And from there, it's ready to be bolted back onto the machine. Thanks for watching Western Iowa Tech Motorcycle and Power Sports.